welcome to piping session as previous my two sessions already we have seen about the equipments so today we will see on something on a piping so already we have seen this all pallets and all the ribbon bars which we has done in the equipment so you can see on a homes already we have know what the what is the commands and what's are in the ribbons bar view you already know everything tools also know from the tools we can get the model explorer from where we can make our hierarchy okay manage here we can do include and this is a reverse which we use for piping design aids it's used for grids and and here is a general from the general we can make our side and zone so here already i have made a zone in a zone piping if you want we can delete this part okay and once again we can select a site and we have to just go on zone and just write piping so the zone piping is created and we have equipment so now today we have to do a piping so we don't have to look on a equipment so this is a piping so now already i have created a zone a zone piping we will what we'll do we will just uh, goes on uh, routing a line and at uh, side by side routing a line we can uh, see the commands also so let's start with the piping okay so this is a pipe from where you can create a line number so i just do select okay i just hit it over here so my page will get expanded so what the pipe line you have in the line number uh, you got it from in the pnid so i just uh, write p-101-1a and i select the specification so whatever the spec you are getting in the line number so you can select the same spec from here also so i just take 150 so i have to start from this point and i have to end on this point so it means this point will be my head and this point will be my tail so this size is 150 size and the, this nozzle is 100 so i just select 150 and whatever the insulations are there so you can select as far as the requirement so you can select so i just do apply once i created a line you will get onto the next page where you can do your branch head and branch tail so when you create a pipe once you do o apply so you get this page and automatically you have select you get you created a branch over here also if you need one more branch so what we have to do we have to just go here and you have you can see create a new branch so you have to just hit so your second branch also will come once you select this b1 so you will get b1 once you select this is your second branch so now we have to need only one branch so what i do just delete one branch so this is our branch from where we can route a line from this point to this point sometimes what happen in the same line number we have a two branch we have to create a drain line we have to create a vent so we have to just select here and we have to create a branch so automatically the branch comes into the same line number so i have created a branch now what i have to do i have to just do a keep on refreshing the page now branch head I have to select this point means pick item to connect head to so I just select it means where you have to select the head point so I just go to near and select a nozzle in nozzle is automatically the gasket and flange is created see you can see gasket gasket and flange is created now what I have to do I have to select a tail so I go to branch tail okay and select pick item to connect tail to i just go and select to nozzle you can see the 
nozzle size also is the same size that's why so the both is are connected okay so now what we will do we'll just route a line or do one thing we just delete this or we will delete uh, this total branch and you just go how to check a nozzle size just you go select right click and just go to the nozzle here you can go to equipment nozzle here you will get the size so you will change the size to 100 just close it so the size is get change so just hit this so you can get the ribbon bar now again you come to the pipe and just do escape okay just refresh it create see what I have done before I have just deleted that branch so now the line number is the same one what I will do I just do create a branch so automatically in the pipe the branch is created now what I will do just select my branch I go to branch head select select the nozzle okay it connects it will get connected now I have to branch branch tail select this point and select this point I think is automatically is connecting and is taking a branch size now we have to go to we have to select this create component in the selected branch see the nozzle is 100 okay now what we will do now we have to root a line we have to take elbow and then down and we have to connect to this nozzle so after this what I'll do I select this flange okay you can see the flange is highlighted now I have to see how the forward mode and backward mode we have to see we have to see this is a our forward mode when the arrow come this side it means the line routing from this end Okay, now we go to elbow I just press elbow and select okay the elbow is facing to the north side so how I can rotate this elbow at the down so what I have to do I have to go to the modify okay and this is the mode we have to change actually previously I was just doing something so the it was already in the backward mode so here it it's returns like change to forward mode so I have to change to forward mode once your rotation I have to rotate this elbow at the down so this line this surrounding lines it should be comes from which point I have to rotate if I do this point so it will come in this point so you cannot rotate elbow at the down it will get something another location so we have to be keep like this way so now I will do down okay now I have to take one more elbow and I have to connect to this line so I just go take one more elbow okay I just do okay now again the elbow should be towards east side so I just go to modify I just do east the cursor should be at the same point where we have to rotate the elbow so now what I have to do I have to take this elbow at this point so what I will do we have to select this point which means position through a cursor peak I just select this and this is a main part in the piping where you can easily uh, take the elbow to which position you require if I take this and this so it will see you can see element so it will take center of the element so I will just go and select to flange so automatically it will come center of the nozzle it will not 
if this size this size is a 150 and this is a hundred if this size is also a hundred so automatically it will get a pipe now here I will place a reducer then I will place a reducer by 150 by 100 so automatically line it will get selected now what I have done I have taken I have used this okay so it means center to center point are same so now we will use a concentric reducer select here okay this is the 150 now I have to take this one I select concentric reducer just select ok you can see now automatically the line is connected because of this is a 150 and here is was a hundred size that's why the line was not connected that's the thing after I placing a reducer the line is get connected but now what I have to do I have to take this reducer to ne close to the flange so I just go to modify what I would do selected reducer I just come to the backward mode okay center to center is 139 I just do 500 okay now what I have to do I have to change this redu reducer to a eccentric reducer I have selected reducer I just do reselect take 100 now here I use eccentric reducer see now what happened when I have taken eccentric reducer the center is get changed so now what I will do go to modify and I will just do align selection component so this part will make the alignment to this flange so I just do ok so see you can see is done so now what I will do I just select this elbow ok and do align selection component so it get selected so now in this line we have seen how to rotate the elbow okay and how we can use this this point okay and how you can align a component to the next component so now we can take one more line from discharge to this point so how we can do we have to create a pipe okay pipe comes here I just select this I have to create already 101 is there so I just do p dash 102 dash 1a the spec will be the same and the size is uh, I think is a uh, 80 okay so I just take 80 and I just do apply once you do apply again you will get the branch so now you have to take uh, you can see here 1021a branch head we have to select branch head ok head and now I have to select branch tail go to tail point and this point so it's connected now I have to check this uh, nozzle so I just do select nozzle right click goes to nozzle so what is the size of the nozzle I have to check here the nozzle size is 100 so if you want to change the nozzle size so you can change from here also okay and this is a nozzle size is 80 or something so you can just close it so now we get to know this nozzle size is 100 and this is a discharge if you want to find out the nozzle size so you can just select nozzle and here you can get this is a size is 80 so just close that and just do escape okay now you have to select a branch so this line already we have done okay so you have to work on 102 so I have selected 102 branch now I have to go to piping component just refresh it okay now you can see here you got the 102 1a b so we have to start from head so now we have to put first gasket okay in the forward mode okay 
sometimes it's uh, show up compatible components so okay so why I have changed it previously the, the direction was backward mode so it will not work on this way so we have to like our line is going like this way so it comes to forward mode so we have to do flange okay weld neck flange I just do okay now I have to use elbow select wherever you get this this arrow it means this this will be your after the flange it is a connection so I just do select ok now you have to take little bit up so I just do 800 up or we have to take an take 500 now I have to take line 45 degree ok and then down and I will go here and then I will connect to up so now we have to take 45 degree so I just go to top ok now here I have to take 45 degree rotation so what I will do I just take this so now you can see 0 90 so you have to just come to here see you can you can see 45 degree elbow is 45 north ok so you have to just do this way so now again we need a elbow we have selected elbow just say ok now what we have to do we have to modify you have to change from here we have to do down so it comes down so now how much we have to keep spool piece 300 ok now again we have to need elbow so I just take elbow and just say create now elbow is going that side I, I have to need this elbow towards east side so I just go modify and I just see you can see east over here we have to take this elbow to east side so I just do east now again I have to take a elbow elbow select ok now I have to take this elbow to upside up now what I have to do I have to take this elbow to this nozzle so the elbow should be come over here so I will just go select position through a cursor pick ok here I will see this point will be selected as an element so I will do select a nozzle one point so I have to just pick one point ok ok so now we have just put it this fitting to fitting now what I have to do I have to maintain a BOP from bottom from zero now first what we will do we will just check this pipe we will just go to command line ok here I will write Q position so you can see the position is 1.1687.05 so now this BOP I have to maintain from bottom 500 ok so what we will do we will see Q P L B O P so you can get the idea the P L means leave and arrive there is a two option was there P L means pipe leave and pipe arrive so our head is this point so line is going like this way ok so you can see so this point this point is our leave P L means pipe leave so here is showing our BOP of this pipe so what is our BOP is 1642.6 is our BOP now we have to maintain 500 so how much we have to take down so now what I will do Q dash 1642.6 minus 500 so 1142.6 is our 
five have to be take down so we can maintain the 500 BOP so now what I will do I will do drag by down 1142.6 sorry so we have to do have to maintain some small 200 and then this elbow it will connect it will like this way okay now we can use a drag at how much we have to take down now the value will get different because uh, we have taken 300 down so go to command line so again we will check same procedure QPL BOP is now 1442.6 is a QPL BOP now we have to minus with 500 Q 1442.6 minus 500 sorry q 1442.6 space minus space 500 so 942.6 so i just do drag by down back 942.6 so you can see the pump actually is kept at a high level okay that's why it's look like this way so you can see our BOP is maintained so how we can maintain the BOP also okay so now we'll just connect our line to this so now what we'll do this is a different size so we will do branch okay and we come from backward mode go to piping component just refresh it okay so we need a gasket so I just here backward mode okay you can see when I have done a backward mode so you can see this arrow came over here so now I just do okay hundred is came like this way so you have to just go and backward mode so this is also should be a backward mode and I just put a zero now do a flange neck flange select now I have to place a concentric reducer of 80 size of 80 ok concentric reducer ok this size is uh, something 100 so we have placed reducer of 80 so now again what I will do uh, we can do one thing we can place elbow here only reducer this select elbow and just do ok so elbow is showing that side so we just go to modify comes to south side now what I will do I will just do continue from backward mode only place elbow once again just do ok elbow direction going that side modify down and just do select this option so you can see how we can route the line how we can maintain a BOP so this is a simple way where we can use uh, our tool palettes ok we can see we have in this session what we have covered we have see we how we can place how we can create a new pipe how we can place elbow how we can place a reducer how we can align okay how we can do a backward mode and forward mode how we can start a line from head to tail okay 
and how you can maintain the BOP also so and for the other part we can do something like a branch connection okay we can place a valve okay we can place a valve assembly so that's uh, we will see on our in a part two thank you